Hey guys, how are you? So today I'm going to be walking you through one of my favorite recipes and I always get so many questions um, about it when I make it and I noticed I never recorded um, a video like step by step on how I've done it. So I am making a veggie pad thai. Um, so the only things that are in there are zucchini noodles, I use butternut squash, I use carrot and onions and I don't know, whatever else you want to use. Um, so that is the pad thai. So there's really no noodles or pasta or anything like that. Um, and I put chicken in it. So I'll walk you through exactly how I make it, the spices I use, um, the ingredients I use. So right here, I have got a, um, I'm using my Inspiralizer. I love it. Um, definitely invest in one of these. They're great. Um, so I have a butternut squash, just like a half of one. Um, a butternut squash and I've got some zucchini, some onion and some carrots. So, okay guys, so my butternut squash is all spiralized. I'm going to put this in a bowl um, and then we're gonna spiralize our zucchini. So I'm gonna end up cooking the butternut squash for like a minute or two um, before I throw the zucchini because the zucchini will cook really, really quick maybe longer than a minute or two so I've got the zucchini here um and we're gonna spiralize that now okay guys so we're gonna spiralize the zucchini now super easy to work with We're gonna continue spiralizing. Okay guys, we're gonna start um, making our pad thai. So I have a wok heating up here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw a half of an onion in. Definitely want that nice and hot. So I'm gonna saute these onions up, then I'm gonna throw some carrots in. We've got some shredded carrots, and then I'm going to do the butternut squash. So just cook these until they're like a little translucent, um, cause we want everything to kind of have the same texture and softness to it. Caramelizing these onions, I just added some shredded carrots in here. Um, if you don't have shredded carrots, that's fine. I've also spiralized um, whole carrots, which is really great as well. But I happen to have these on hand, so I'm using these. And as needed, you can, um, you can just add a little bit of water, like a tablespoon of water at a time. If you feel like your pan is getting too hot um, and your onions are going to either burn or overcook or something like that. Okay. So we're gonna let this kind of soften up and then we're gonna throw our noodles in here. The um, veggies are still cooking up here. I've got two chicken breasts that I just diced up real quick um, in a, and I put it in a hot pan. So I'm just gonna saute this quickly to add to the pad thai because this is going to be chicken pad thai. You can absolutely make um, the pad thai without the chicken. Your choice. Um, but I'm using this as a complete meal. So this is what I'm doing. I just seasoned it with a little bit of adobo and that is it. Hey guys, I just cranked up the heat on the onions and carrots. These are really nicely caramelized and soft. I'm gonna throw my butternut squash in. Toss it around and just keep an eye out on it so when it starts to um, get roasted a little bit and then we'll add the zucchini in and while this is going I've got my chicken lightly sauteed here basically all ready to just put in when everything is ready now 
Now that our butternut squash noodles kind of cooked down, I've got my zucchini noodles. Those are going in. These will cook fast. So just keep an eye on them. I put um, low temperature and um, just keep mixing them around. And they'll cook quickly. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the noodles to um, cook, I'm gonna put together our sauce. So I use this Trader Joe's Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. And for two tablespoons is three points. So I've got two tablespoons of that. And I've always also got this sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. Two tablespoons of this is also three points. So our sauce comes out to six points and it's definitely a generous amount of sauce and then i'm going to work on um, the peanut butter sauce that goes on top with the pb fit um and i'll show you how i do that as well so so far this whole recipe on blue is only going to be um six points um this is before we use the peanut butter sauce and this is for really like two or three servings. Okay guys, so the noodles are basically done. I just put my chicken right on top. I cranked up the heat again. Um, I'm just gonna toss this together, make the peanut butter sauce, and we are done. Okay guys, so in here I have 48 grams of um, this PB Fit peanut butter powder. I did add some water in there, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I want this to be um, really like liquidy. So just gonna add water and stir as you go. And this complete bowl, which is 48 grams, um, three tablespoons comes out to two points. So we don't want this thick type peanut butter. We definitely want it a little bit more liquidy. I'm going to keep stirring this until it comes to the consistency that I need and then when we plate um, the pad tie up we're going to drizzle this on top. Okay guys just sat down with my delicious plate. Hey, of, hubby. My hubby's there. Um, delicious plate of all these veggies and some chicken. So literally just plated this up. So super easy, simple to make, and I'm going to give it a try. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a spice um, from the spicy peanut sauce. But the peanut butter kind of like settles it down a little bit. And this looks like a really big plate of food, which there is. There's a lot of food in here, but it's all veggies. You've got butternut squash, you've got carrots, onions, zucchini, um, and then just the chicken. So the only points that we're counting here is for the sauces and i love sauces so um you've got three six seven eight eight points all together and we still have so much of this peanut butter um sauce left so i'm still going to count two points so really this comes out to a four point dinner if i have peanuts i crush up peanuts i like to put them on top for a little bit of a crunch but didn't have them and that's fine and usually i um do a scrambled egg in here but didn't have eggs so um those are just the two things that you could do or you don't have to and my husband's looking at me didn't even realize that there was an egg in there but we had two eggs each today already so not really missing out on the eggs so i hope you guys enjoy this if you make it let me know. 
It's delicious.